Hello, Al Pals. This is Big Al. Welcome to Big Al Presents. A little more Christmas cheer for my Al Pals. That's right. Pour yourselves a glass of port, and I shall regale you with my thoughts on this latest Christmas film I wanted to talk about. A Christmas Story Christmas. Hey, at least it's not a Hallmark film, right? <laughs> this is very much not a Hallmark film. It is the sequel to the 1983 classic A Christmas Story. What did I think of it? Well, before I tell you that, caution, there are spoilers ahead. So if you don't want to know anything, you might want to turn back now. With that being said, a Christmas Story Christmas. Ralphie is back, and it is now Christmas time, 1973. Ralphie is married, and he has two kids of his own, and he is doing the best he can trying to become an author. But just before Christmas, Ralphie gets a call that none of us would ever want to get, and that is his beloved father, known affectionately as the Old Man has passed away, and it is now up to Ralphie to make this Christmas the best Christmas he can under the circumstance. The long-awaited true sequel to the original 1983 classic, A Christmas Story Christmas, has the unenviable task of living up to that original. If you use the original as a measuring stick, then no, A Christmas Story Christmas does not measure up to that film. However, what film really could live up to such a masterpiece? While this film will never be the holiday staple that its predecessor has become, it has a charm and emotional depth all its own. Trying to find joy at Christmas when dealing with the loss of a parent or other loved one is a subject most of us will experience, and this film handles that story well. Peter Billingsley returns as Ralphie and seems to slip right back into being that weird little boy who tried to get his BB gun, but this time he's trying to get the perfect Christmas for his family. Aaron Hayes plays Sandy, Ralphie's wife, and River Drosh and Juliana Lane play their children. These four have a great chemistry together and they do make a wonderful and nice little family unit together. Fans will be happy to know that many of their favorites return in their iconic roles. Scott Schwartz as Flick, Artie Robb as Schwartz, and even Zach Ward returns as Scott Farkas. Ralphie's little brother, Randy, shows up for a few brief moments, again played by the original actor, Ian Petrella. Sadly, Melinda Dillon did not return as Ralphie's mother, but Julia Haggerty does a commendable job in the role. And, though Darren McGavin has since passed, his presence is all over this film, thanks to clips from the original film. Looking at this film critically, it does have some issues. It takes a while for the story to really find its footing, but it does become much more entertaining once Ralphie and his family travel back to his hometown and begins meeting his old friends. The film uses the same storytelling techniques the original Christmas story used, visualizing Ralphie's imagination leaping to outrageous scenarios, and the narration, now done by Billingsley, being Ralphie's unspoken thoughts. The story takes a few strange turns, though, and even evokes National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation a little bit, which seemed a misstep, but it soon corrects itself. Footage and audio from the original helps this film pluck at the heartstrings, but it does a fine job on its own, making you realize the true spirit of Christmas is all about family and friends and the love they share. If you are a fan of the original, I see no reason why you wouldn't find some ap something appealing about this new one. Like I've already said, it's not going to hold the same place in the pantheon of Christmas movies the original one does, but it may find its own little special place in your future holiday viewings. 
that's my official thoughts. I wrote them out this time just to save myself a little bit of trouble and stumbling over my tongue. Now, of course, giving this a rating is not going to be easy because it's not nearly a per, per, perfect film, a per, 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 perfect film, but it does have a lot of those member berries and it, it makes you feel good and it's so wonderful to see these people. It's like looking at a cinematic photo album and remembering the good old days while you're visiting your family. Uh, it, like I said, it takes a while to get going. The early parts of the film, I was a little out of it. I was like, I don't know if this is really going to be for me or not. Uh, and I was really looking forward to it. But once they get back to town, it really, it, it really picks up one, you know, once they get back and with his mom and they start meeting flick and Schwartz and, having their little misadventures, as it were. Uh, I thought hard about it, and I, I gave it three stars. I think it's it's an enjoyable, not perfect little film. Uh, probably a little higher rating, uh, thanks to the emotional, fuzzy feelings that it, that it gives. But it's in no way a waste of time. It is an... A, a cute little Christmas film. Now, I don't think they're ever going to be showing it 24 hours a day. It is not that kind, but it is a good little addendum to a Christmas story. It's nice to have Ralphie back and kind of seeing how he's doing. And it does, at the end, you do have that warm feeling that a Christmas movie should give you. Uh, so that is my official thoughts on A Christmas Story Christmas. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Big Al Presents, I hope you do so. More reviews, rewatches, and rambles in weeks and months to come. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And share it around so that people know that A Christmas Story Christmas is out there. And it may be worth their time, especially if they are a fan of those characters like so many of us are. Whatever you do decide to watch, though, tonight, be it a Christmas story Christmas or a Christmas story over and over and over again, I hope you're enjoying it, and I'm hoping you're enjoying this Christmas season. Take care, everyone, and until next time, goodbye.